When the Orlando Magic acquired Markel Fultz from the Philadelphia 76ers back in 2019, life changed for the Orlando Magic. Now, whether that was for the immediate future or the long-term future, because fast forward to 2023, the Magic have a stacked guard room. Markel Fultz has panned out for the Orlando Magic. If anything, I think he's exceeded expectations. A guy who was a former number one overall pick that was a low risk, high reward type of player, he has panned out and he's progressively gotten better for this Orlando Magic team. Now, whether he's a part of this team moving forward in the long term, that remains to be seen. But as of right now, Markel Fultz is the best point guard in the Orlando Magic. And I'm here to talk about today why the Orlando Magic need Markel Fultz. Before we go ahead and get into today's video, if you guys please could, go ahead and drop a thumbs up, hit the subscribe bell to stay tuned for more Orlando Magic content that we do here on YouTube, and make sure you guys also go ahead and follow me, Brett James, and Orlando Magic HQ on all of our socials, especially on Twitter. We're both very active and we're on there every single day. But Magic fans, let's actually go ahead and talk about Markel Fultz in today's video. Now the first and most obvious glaring reason as to why the Orlando Magic need Markel Fultz it's because the offense is stagnant without him. Now, the Mavericks game on Monday night, the Magic did a terrific job in that first half. They assisted on 20 of 26 field goals. They shot 7-11 from behind New York, and they were up 13 points at halftime to the Dallas Mavericks before crumbling apart in that second half. The Magic in that second half only scored 36 total points, and they were one of 16 from behind New York. And you can give a lot of credit to Dallas's defense, but it was glaringly obvious to me this is where the Magic miss Markel Fultz. Now, Fultz has not appeared in the last three games. He missed the game in Salt Lake City versus the Lakers and versus the Mavericks because of that left knee swollenness. But the reason Markel Fultz is so important to this offense is because he's the orchestrator. Now, one thing I credit Jamal Mosley a lot with is when he asks his players to do a specific role and to play that role, they do it at an exceptional level. Coach Mosley's not asking Cole Anthony to go out there and be a consistent 3 and D guy on a night in and night out basis. Now, is Cole Anthony very capable of playing defense and doing it at a high level? Yes, he is, but that's not what is asked of him. Cole Anthony is asked to be a guy to come off the bench, score, have the green light, and to provide that spark to the second unit. And guess what? Cole Anthony does that at an exceptional level. Coach Mills is not asking Paolo Bancaro to go out there and to take 10 plus threes every single night. He asked Paolo to get to the line, be a scorer, and to be the reason as to why the Orlando Magic win on a night in and night out basis. And PB5 does that at an exceptional level. Same thing with Markel Fultz. Markel does a phenomenal job of putting pressure on the defense by orchestrating this offense, getting guys in positions to be successful through the pick and roll, hitting open shooters, hitting cutters, and to also hit his patented step back fadeaways at the mid range, his little floaters, his crafty finishes at the rim. Everything you ask of Markel Fultz, he does it at a high level when he's playing on the court and he is so valuable to this offense, the way that they move, the way that they flow, and to be able to put pressure on the defense. He has improved since coming into the league. He's improved since coming to Orlando, and you have to continue to reward that. Markel Fultz is extremely valuable to this team, and the offense looks stagnant without him. That's personally a big reason for me. Now, the second reason the Magic need Markel Fultz is because he's in the last year of his contract. If you remember a couple of seasons ago, he signed a three-year, $50 million contract, and after this season, Markel will be an unrestricted free agent. Now, whether Markel Fultz and the Magic reach a long-term agreement, they reach another contract, nonetheless, Markel Fultz, as of right now, is under contract, and when he's healthy, He's the best point guard on roster, and he deserves that opportunity to continue to be rewarded, right? If Anthony Black, Cole Anthony, Jalen Suggs, any of the other guards in the room outplay him and Markel loses his job, that is one thing. Injuries, do not let these last three games where the Magic have won two out of their last three and Anthony Black has looked spectacular through his minutes fool you. As of right now, the model of consistency that we have seen from Markel Fultz and his improvement and where he can be and where he can get this offense to potentially be at, you have to reward that, especially in the last year of his contract. Let him play it out. If he exceeds expectations and he gets this team to greater heights, then maybe reward him with a new contract depending on the market and depending on what this Magic front office wants to do. 
And if he doesn't meet the expectations, if you don't feel as if Markel is helping to ascend this team, then that's something Coach Mosley, Jeff Wellman, and the rest of this front office, they can decide at a later date and time. But as of right now, Markel has earned that opportunity. You continue to reward him with that. And I think when he's healthy, you go ahead and you put him out there on the court. That is in the best interest of this team right here, right now, in my personal opinion. And the third and last reason why the Magic need Markel Fult is because he's the best point guard on roster right now. I've said it once, I'll say it yet again, the Magic need Markel Fultz. Now look, is Markel Fultz the defender that Jalen Suggs or Anthony Black is? No, he's not. Is he even the scorer that a Cole Anthony is? No, he's not. But Markel Fultz encompasses and embodies a perfect mix of really kind of everybody on the roster in the guard room. If you ask me, he can be a very good and lengthy defender. He can get out and fast break and push the pace. He can be a guy to go out there and score 15, 20, and he can also be a guy to still chip in a, a steal and a block on a night in and night out basis. Markel Fultz is so damn valuable to what this Orlando Magic team does, and that's not to negate what Jalen Suggs does and the energy that he brings on a night in and night out basis, and especially on the defensive side of the ball. That's not to take away from Cole Anthony and his scoring ability, or what Anthony Black has done by hitting two threes in the last two games and really embracing the moment, embracing the limelight, and really taking this opportunity and seizing it. I'm very grateful I'm not Coach Mosley because he's got a lot of difficult decisions to make. There's a lot of speculation around the Magic as to who the starting point guard of the future is right now and for the future. There's a lot of discussions about who the rotational minutes are going to get distributed to because Anthony Black sure does look really good through these last two games and I think he's only going to continue to get better. He carries himself like a veteran. He's got extremely high potential. But Markel Fultz, right here, right now, helps orchestrate this offense and helps get this team playing at an exceptionally high level. I've seen it once. I've seen it on a multitude of occasions through Markel's time in Orlando. And like I said, all of this Markel praise is not to discredit what any of these other guards do on the roster. That's why I'm not the head coach. That's why I believe in Jamal Mosley and the rotations and where he's going to distribute these minutes. But at the end of the day, right here, right now, I believe Markel is the best point guard for the Orlando Magic to build around. And until proven otherwise, the Orlando Magic need Markel Fultz. But Magic fans, I want to hear your guys' thoughts in the comments down below. What do you guys think about the fact that Markel Fultz should remain the starting point guard until proven otherwise? And do you think that Markel will be the long-term point guard of the future for the Orlando Magic? I want to hear your guys' thoughts in the comments down below. This is a very tricky subject, so I'm very curious to hear your guys' thoughts. And like I said, if you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure you guys go ahead and drop me a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe bell to stay tuned for more Orlando Magic content that I do here on YouTube. And make sure you guys also go ahead and follow me, Brett James, and Orlando Magic HQ on all of our socials, especially on Twitter. We're both very active and we're on there every single day. The link tree will be in the description down below so you guys can go ahead and check that out. But thank you guys again for sticking around throughout the whole video. Brett James, AKA BJ, I'm out y'all. And like always, let's go Magic.